I'm going to try and win the Champions League, but the wheel is going to decide everything. From which club we're going to manage to even our transfer budget, we're going to be at the mercy of the wheel. The goal is to somehow still win at the Champions League. This wheel has all 32 Champions League clubs from this upcoming season. Let's spin it now and see for attempt one, which club are we going to get? I'm just hoping it's a good club because if it's something like Celtic, I don't know how we're going to win the Champions League, but instead it's Porto. I'm going to have to channel my inner Jose Mourinho. Respect. 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 So for attempt one, we're going to be managing this Porto side and somehow in one season, we need to get them the Champions League. Otherwise, we fail our first attempt. Oh, and by the way, five attempts is the maximum we'll be getting. If we don't win the Champions League before that, I have completely failed this challenge and I'm a finished manager. He is a specialist in failing. I'm not going to lie. This Porto team isn't too bad. I think we could win the Champions League with them. The players are there here. Taremi up top. We've got this Uribe guy in midfield. Otavio is decent. Pepe as well at the back. Diogo Costa. The team isn't too bad. Everything kind of depends on our budget. And guess what? The wheel is going to decide the budget we'll get for the season. I told you. The wheel is going to decide everything. Okay. 200 million to spend. We'll take it. Now that's a budget for 200 million. If we make smart signings, I reckon we could convert this team into a Champions League winning side. But let's not get excited too quickly because even the number of transfers is going to be decided by the wheel. Ooh, we get to make three transfers only this season. Okay, guys, I've channeled my inner Jose Mourinho and this is kind of what I think our best team is. Yeah, it's nowhere near good enough to win the Champions League, but we got 200 million, three transfers. I think we can really do business here. Okay, guys, if we want to win the Champions League, I'm thinking shoring up that defense is needed and Ruben Diaz, he's Portuguese as well. I think this kind of works, although he's super expensive. Why is 200 million now feeling like a pretty low amount? Because we're going to almost spend 100 million just on Ruben Diaz. Oh, in fact, it's going to be a lot more crazy. 140 million? Nah, that is that is ridiculous. I'm trying to settle for 110 and finally that works. First signing we're making is Ruben Diaz to Porto. Spent 110 million on this. It better work. Diaz was the big money signing, but we're still left with 81 million and a couple more positions to strengthen. Next up, I've brought in a young left back for just 21 million. It's Fabiano Parisi. I know he's only 77 rated, but he's young with a ton of potential and I really wanted to upgrade our left back position. Okay, that defense now looks sorted. All we need, I think, is a better midfielder and I reckon maybe we could be the dark horses of the Champions League. We got only about 60 million though for that midfield position and I think we need to make the most of it. Ruben Neves, time to bring him back from the desert. Saudi League, all good, but now we need you here for this challenge. 35 million and we've got Ruben Neves at Porto. We've done what we can with the resources we got. I think Neves, Diaz, and Parisi coming in pretty decent. But can we win the Champions League in attempt one? First, we need to get out of this group, but we've got Bayern and AC Milan in it. Here we go, guys. Our Champions League journey begins. Porto versus Bayern. If we can get a result here, that would be a great start. But, oh, wow. Okay. I think we can survive this group. Maybe I have got a bit of Jose Mourinho in me. I think I'm a special one. Nah, that is actually mad. We somehow topped a group with Bayern and AC Milan. Yo, I'm, I'm feeling we might actually win the Champions League in attempt one itself. This is where things get serious, though. It's the round of 16, the knockouts. Atletico Madrid's gonna be a challenge, though, but you look at our team. There's been solid growth all round. We might just be able to pull this off. First leg, 3-0. Yo, the second leg should be just a formality after that. There you go. Oh, I don't like our luck, man. We've now got Barcelona. Honestly, this team has gone above and beyond to get here, but I'm still hoping we can get through Barca. No, Barcelona have beaten us. This is not good. No, we narrowly got knocked out of the Champions League. Ah, oh, with Porto to come to the quarterfinals though, I think that's still pretty awesome and this team, it was tremendous. But hey, we failed our first attempt with Porto. Time to move on to attempt number two. It's time to spin the wheel to find out our club for attempt number two and I'm hoping it's better than Porto. Oh no, it's Real Sociedad. That might be even worse than Porto. Okay, do you know what? Scratch that. I think Real Sostad gives us a good chance. We've got Oyarzabal, Kubo, and Silva up top. Merino in the midfield. The defense isn't too bad either. Kind of depends if the wheel's going to help us out with the budget and signings. Brilliant. Our budget's going to be just 50 million. We're allowed to make three signings, but where do we have the money for that? Which is 50 million. Attempt number two with Real Sostad has just gotten a lot more difficult. But let's see what we can do. After looking at the squad, it's 
kind of obvious. We need a bit of depth in the fullback positions. Plus, I think we could really do with a better attacker or something. But do we even have the money to do everything? Nope. I don't think so. Okay, I just checked and somehow Riyad Mahrez is a free agent. Did something go wrong with the Saudi deal or it didn't go through or something? Well, I don't know. I'm taking advantage of it. I'm signing him up. There you go. We've got Riyad Mahrez coming in as our first signing. Next up, we're signing Jose Gaia for the left back position. We're still left with 16 million. We've got one more signing to make, but I don't think we can get anyone better, guys, for the right back position. So I guess this is what we have. I'm not too confident about attempt number two. It all depends on our Champions League group. Okay, this is a good start. We survive our Champions League group, but Man United finished top though. But in the round of 16, we drew PSG and that meant game over. PSG destroyed us. We're not getting through PSG with Real Sociedad. Out of the Champions League again in attempt number two. Honestly, at this point, it really feels like it's impossible to complete this challenge unless we get like a big club, a big budget, lots of signings. Yeah, man, it's tough. But little did I know things were about to get even more difficult. Attempt number three and we get RB Salzburg, not even RB Leipzig. Once again, a budget of just 50 million and just one transfer. Am I really expected to win the Champions League with this team? Well, we've got 50 million to make one signing. I did the best I could do by signing David De Gea completely for free. But since we've got only one signing, that's all we can do. Getting an 87 rated goalkeeper, I think at least gives us a fighting chance. But I don't think we're winning the Champions League in attempt number three. Wait, what just happened? We talked our group and Madrid finished third. Is this some sort of a joke? Wait a minute, guys. Have I underestimated RB Salzburg? Because we just knocked out Braga and we're through to the quarters. Okay, now we might get our dream crushed because we're up against Barca. Guys, what is happening here? Have we, have we done something to RB Salzburg? All we've done is sign De Gea and we're out here beating Barcelona. Second leg now against Barca. If we get to the semifinals, you just know anything can happen. But well, well, well. Reality check. The dream run with Salzburg is over. And this is the third attempt that we failed to win the Champions League. I kind of want to give myself a pat on the back because I've been over exceeding my expectations at every club. But we've not really been given a club that can actually win the Champions League. Hopefully that can change with attempt number four because we've just got two attempts left and I really don't want to fail this challenge. By the way, guys, before we get into our fourth attempt to try and win the Champions League, I'd really appreciate if you could spare a moment and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 900k subscribers and I can't get there without your help. So yeah, make sure to subscribe. It's attempt number four and I'm spinning the wheel to find out which club we get. It better be good. Ooh, Manchester United. Now that's a club I think we could do business with. That's a good one. That's finally a good one. Okay, guys, this is by far the best team we've managed so far. And I think we can win the Champions League with them. We've got Varane and Leach at the back, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, a few players like Anthony if we can bin off and replace Martial as well. I think we've got the team to get it done. Okay, but I think a lot's going to depend whether the wheel is going to give us a good budget as well as the number of signings. Looks like the budget. Oh my days, this is it. We've literally basically got unlimited budget, 500 million with Manchester United. Now, hang on, before everybody gets excited, we could still end up getting like one transfer allowed and that's going to completely put us in the mud. So let's see how many transfers we can make. And that is awesome. Four transfers. I'm feeling it. This is it. I'm feeling it, boys. 500 million attempt number four might be the one. Okay, let's make an action plan. We've got four signings. I definitely want a new striker, a new right winger as well. That's like two positions we absolutely need to improve. I'm also thinking Bruno Fernandes at Cam, Mason Mount at the bench. Won't that make a lot more sense? And then just getting a way better midfielder. Striker, right wing, central midfield. That's what we've got so far. And maybe we can chuck in like a world-class right back as well. Yep, that should do it. Since my money isn't a big issue for us this season. I'm going big. We're starting with Hakimi for the right back position. And it wasn't even expensive. Just 58 million. I am not in the mood to mess around for the midfield position. We're bringing in Nicolo Barella from Inter. 75 million spent on him. Not gonna lie with Hakimi and Barella. This team looks a lot more solid. But honestly, the big problem I see Man United have when I see them play real life is that their attack can feel toothless at times. With Casemiro, Varane, Martinez, even on and goal. I think they covered at the back. But Anthony Martial and even Anthony, they just aren't frightening. We need a bit more support for Rashford. And guess what? The wheel has given us basically unlimited money. Let's bring some world-class players. Not gonna lie, I see Kiesa being perfect for the right-wing position. And for 60 million, 
we've just got him. All we need now is a world-class striker, and I think this team can do it. And we've got 288 million to sign that striker. Signing Holland would be insane, but come on, guys. He plays for City. We can't do that. But then Kylian Mbappe would make the most sense. Yup, contract expiring as well. We know things are a bit rocky between him and PSG. Let's pounce. Come on, man. Let's get Mbappe for 200 million. There you go. And would you believe it? We've just made the ultimate signing in career mode, killing Mbappe to Manchester United. Adept number four, guys. Surely we've built the team to win the Champions League. I do not want it to go to Adept number five because, you know, pressure is going to be on. We'll bottle it. Hopefully we can win the Champions League this season. Okay, guys. At least the first step we've completed well by topping our Champions League group. Man, we had four draws and just two wins. But hey, look at the positive side. We were unbeaten. Time for the knockouts where we had drawn Napoli in the round of 16. And guess what? We knocked them out. Lazio in the round of 16 too was easy pickings. Oh guys, this is where it could get painful. We're up against PSG in the semi-finals. But don't forget, we stole killing Mbappe from them. So I think we should be good. First leg and it's a draw. We're one game away from a Champions League final. Attempt number four. This has got to be it. And yes, we've got it. Let's go. Rasmus Holland coming on and scoring for us. Come on. This is it, boys. But at the end of the road, attempt four might be it. All we've got to do is win the Champions League. But guys, it's not going to be so straightforward because there's a twist. The wheel is going to give us a challenge for the final. Oh, no. What is it going to be? Oh, this is awful. Replace your entire starting 11 with bench and reserve players. That means we're going to have to win the Champions League with Rasmus Holland up top. Well, I guess Mason Mount, Harry Maguire too. No way, guys. After all the effort we put in building a team, we're literally going to have to use this in a Champions League final against Barca. Oh, my. The wheel has not made things easy, but let's do it. Although with Harry Maguire in our defense, winning this game is going to be tough. Where's my defense? What's Maguire doing? Oh, my days. That is such a silly goal to concede. Things go from bad to worse as Mason Mount picks up an injury too. Well, I guess this is a free opportunity opportunity for us to bring on one of the ballers and maybe Bruno Fernandes can help us out that way. We're not allowed to make any other changes though. I'm only making an exception for injuries. But what's the point? We can see it again. Second half, if we don't score quickly, it's all over. We're heading to attempt number five. Rasmus Holland looking for Bruno Fernandes. This is why we've brought him on. Still Bruno finding a bit of space. And he actually scores. That's why he got subbed on. Come on. One more goal and we'll be back in this game. Diogo Dalot has broken through. All we need is one more goal and Bruno could get it. Yes, let's go. We're back in this. Sancho. Lovely ball. Rasmus. Rasmus Holland. How? I can't believe it. How has he scored that header? This might be the craziest comeback. I refuse to believe this. Guys, how? I just went for a long shot with Bruno. Didn't work. Sancho puts it back in. And the craziest header I've ever seen. Come on. Less than five minutes to go. All we need to do is survive. Let's go, guys. We've won the Champions League. Attempt number four was the one against all odds. Being 2-0 down with our bench and reserve players. We did it. You know what? Who is mad of the match for me? Probably Mason Mount. Because if he wasn't injured, we wouldn't bring on Bruno, who literally saved us this game. Four attempts and a lot of pain from the wheel. But we managed to win the Champions League. If you enjoyed enjoyed this video, why not watch me build the world's most expensive team in FIFA? Click here to watch that.